A federal judge has handed down the first sentences in the ongoing Atlanta City Hall bribery investigation. Two construction contractors, longtime friends E.R. Mitchell and Charlie Richards, will go to prison. Now, senior I-Team reporter Dale Russell has been on top of this investigation for months. He was in the courtroom for today's sentencing. Mr. Mitchell, do you have anything to say as you go into the sentencing this morning? Longtime Atlanta contractor E.R. Mitchell arrives at federal court to learn his fate. Soon after, federal judge Steve Jones sentenced Mitchell to the maximum five years in prison for his role in a money laundering and bribery conspiracy cash for contract scheme at Atlanta City Hall. Uh, we expected the 60 months and that's what he got. Uh, he wants to get on with his sentence again serving it, continuing to cooperate, and then we'll be back. During the day, we learned Mitchell fully cooperated with the FBI, secretly wore a wire, and tape recorded a fellow contractor who was also charged in the case. What kind of cooperation is Mr. Mitchell doing? Well, that's all the comments we're making. I'll say we're, he's continuing to cooperate, and that's all we can say. The ongoing and ever-deepening FBI investigation has sent shockwaves through City Hall. We've seen FBI agents raid a city vendor's office. Jeff Jafari at the time was the vice president of a construction design firm, the Pratt Group. Well, was this raid about Pratt? I cannot tell you. A former city employee, Sean Barnes, stands accused of threatening E.R. Mitchell by throwing a brick through his front window and warning him to shut up. Even if he did what they say he did, he's still the little guy in this. In February, the FBI carted off a computer and phone belonging to then Chief Procurement Officer Adam Smith, who has since pled guilty to bribery conspiracy. This is a human tragedy. The second contractor to be charged, Charlie Richards, was sentenced in the afternoon. His attorney, Lynn Borsick, and six character witness argued that Richards spent countless hours in selfless devotion to his community through youth soccer in Tucker. Richards himself told the judge he was deeply ashamed. He lost his company, his life savings, because he could not say no to his friend, E.R. Mitchell, and he only wanted to save his company and his employees. Charlie Richards is a really good man who's made a mistake. Both men are right now out on bond. They'll begin serving their sentences later, and both were ordered to pay restitution. E.R. Mitchell, over $1.1 million, and Charlie Richards, $193,000. Both men said they cooperated with the FBI, and this case is far from over. From the Richard Russell Building, Dale Russell, Fox 5 News.